Hey guys, I'm Charlie from Zmodo Labs, and I'm going to be running through the main features of the app with you. The app um, actually uses the MeShare app, and through the MeShare app, you can download it from an Android phone, an Apple phone, um, and you can access your Snap Pro um, through this app, mobile app. So, first off, when you set up your device, you're already making a user account. Um, all of your Zmodo devices are going to be bound to this user account. So right now, all you have to do is log in. And as you can see here, here's some of the main features of the app. This is called the home screen of the app. On the home screen, you can see the weather alerts, you can see a modes feature to control your alerts, and you can see your device list. This device list will show all of your Zmodo devices that are bound to this user account. As you can tell, I have a lot. Um, but the first device here is the Snap Pro that we just set up. And the first thing you'll want to do when you get your Snap Pro is you want to personalize it. So here, you can press the Live View, press the Device Settings, press More on the upper right corner, Device Name, and let's say, for example, I'm setting up my Snap Pro in my living room. So maybe I'll call it Living Room. You press Save, go back to your home screen, and now in your device list, you can see that the Snap Pro is called Living Room. So that's one of the main features there. And as you know, the Snap Pro um, is a motion activated camera. So that means when the PIR motion detects motion, it'll actually start recording and it'll send you an alert. The way you control these alerts from the app is actually through a feature called modes. These modes allow you to control the alerts for all of your devices quickly and easily. So for example, if I'm going home, I'll just press home and then all of my devices will change to a certain behavior. If I'm gonna go to sleep, Right before I go to sleep, I press sleep. And then if I'm heading out, I press away to activate all my alerts. So you can actually customize your device behaviors from each mode by pressing edit up here. And then let's say, for example, I want to adjust my away modes. So I'll go through each device and I'll determine how each device behaves. So I'll press my Snap Pro. And let's say, for example, I want alerts when I'm away. So I'll press on, which it is by default. Or let's say I don't want it on, and I'll press off. And then you press save to complete it. You can do this for all of your alerts so that you set it one time in the very beginning, and then afterwards all you have to do is press one button to change your notifications. And now once you actually do receive a notification, you can check and review your alerts at any time. Snap Pro stores up to seven days on the cloud for all of your motion alerts. So you can actually check over here by pressing the alerts on your device tile. And you'll see a timeline of all of your motion alerts. You can review these alerts at any time. So I'll press, for example, a motion that was recorded. And you can view these clips at any time. You can also download them. And then you can view them in landscape or you can delete them. And now that we have that, we're gonna go into our live viewing mode. You can actually access live video from Snap at any time um, by pressing this live button here. What will happen is, for example, if I'm at work, I can press the live view and I'm wondering what's going on in my home. It can wake up very quickly and after a little bit, you can view the full 1080p, 180 degree live view video at any time. So you can actually pan and tilt here. It's a pretty cool feature. We use a gyrometer on your phone and you can pan and tilt to view the entire view. You can also drag with your finger, oops. So you can also drag it with your finger or you can go to landscape and view all the video all at once. Um, so once you have that, you can actually record and you can take a snapshot of your video at any time. So here, let's say you want to manually record you can start the recording by pressing the record button here. And then, have some motion there. And now once you have the video and you caught what you wanted to catch, you can stop recording there. The video recording will be saved. You can also press a snapshot here. So here we go, and cheese. And there we have a snapshot. So you can access all of these snapshots and these recordings from the gallery. You go back to your home screen, and on the bottom you see some main pages here. Press the Me page, press the Gallery, 
and now you can see the snapshot and you can see the recordings here. From here, you can actually download the recording and it'll save on your local phone store so that you can save it, send it, share it whenever you want. Or if you think it's just a bad shot, you can just delete it. And as you can see, you can play the video recordings as well. After that, I'll show you some of the major settings um, that you can adjust. Um, from your home screen of your snap, all you could do is go to live view and you can change the brightness settings. So here, if the video is too dark or it's too bright, you can adjust it manually from these settings and it'll save until you change it next. After you do the brightness setting, you can go to the gear icon here for the device settings. And here you can see a few options. Um, first, for the night vision, the night vision, you can either set it as always off, always on, which means that it will use the infrared lights to illuminate when you can't see in the dark, or you can do auto. When you set it to auto, the night vision will turn on automatically when it gets dark. You can make it less sensitive, normal setting, or very sensitive, depending on your preference. If you do a higher sensitivity, it means that the night vision will be more easily triggered. So it might not necessarily be as dark when it is triggered. After that, you can change the device volume settings. So here we see the Snap Pro has two-way audio. You can adjust the volume here, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but you can manually change the audio in the volume settings here. And you can test it out by pressing a hold to talk option here. And then you can adjust the motion clip length. So we have three options here. By default, it's set to 10 seconds, but you can choose 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds. What this means is that whenever motion is detected, it will record a video clip. The longer the clip, the more video you get, but you have to be mindful that if you set it as a 30 second clip, then your Snap Pro battery life will not last as long. So now, last of all, I'll show you the two-way audio. And as you can tell, the Snap Pro is really close to the phone, so you're gonna get some audio feedback here, but really you'll be using two-way audio when you're not close to the snap at all. So for example, you activate two-way audio here, and hello? And hello, and hello. You can hear the audio from the phone, so you can always be in the loop for what's going on. And then you can also tap the talk here, so that from my phone, hello? Hello? And you see audio coming from the Snap Pro camera. So for example, if you have a kid coming home, you can check in on them and talk to them, ask them how their day was. Or if you have a pet that's getting lonely or misbehaving and not necessarily house trained yet, you can tell them to back away from the snacks or stay away from your favorite couch. Um, so there you have it. Those are the main features of the Snap, main features from the MeShare app. And again, you can access the app. It's free to use um, at any time. So thank you.